Hey everyone, it's Greg again from D-Link and today I'm going to be showing you how to configure the wireless settings on your D-Link router. Now the first thing that we need to do is log into the router. Now if you're not sure how to do this, please check our other videos. Now in this example we're using the DIR826L, however if you have a different router, the setup step should pretty much be the same. Now the first thing we need to do is click on the setup tab on the very top and on the left hand side we're going to select wireless settings. Okay, and that will bring us into the wireless settings section of the router. Here we have a couple different options for configuring the wireless. First is we have a wireless network setup wizard. This will allow us to just easily walk through each step of configuring the wireless settings. And then there's also the manual wireless setup. Okay, in this example I'm going to be showing you guys the manual wireless network setup. So I'm just going to select that option. And that brings us into the wireless settings. And now again, as I mentioned, we're using the DIR826L in this example. This is a dual band router. So there's gonna be two different sections here for the wireless, the 2.4 and the five gigahertz. To start off, we're gonna use the 2.4 gigahertz. So here we have our wireless network name. So this is gonna be the name of the wireless signal you see when you scan for networks with your laptop, your iPhone, or really any other wireless device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this network. So right now it's called old network. I'm just going to change that. We'll call it new network. Everything else here is pretty much at factory default. So I'm just going to leave that. Those are all very good settings. And we're going to come down to the wireless security mode. So right now it's set to none. So I, I definitely want to have security on my wireless, you know, to prevent people from connecting like my neighbors and so on. So in the drop down list, we have a few options here. The ones that you want to look at here are WEP, WEP, and WPA Personal. D-Link suggests using WPA or WPA Personal rather than WEP. WEP is an older type of security which is not very safe anymore. So we're going to choose WPA Personal. And scrolling down here, now we have a WPA section. Pretty much these settings can be left at defaults also. So keeping the WPA mode on auto and the cipher type on TKIP and AES. Okay, again, we're just gonna come down a little bit further down to the pre-shared key. Now the pre-shared key is going to be your wireless password. Now there may already be dots in, your, in the box here, but we wanna erase all of those and then enter in a new password. Now the password has to be a minimum of eight characters and can be anywhere up to 63 characters. Now they could be numbers, letters, symbols, there could be spaces, you know, really uh, any way you wanna put it in. Once I've done that, continue scrolling down here. Now we have the five gigahertz band. So here we have the wireless network name. Again, I'm gonna change that. So right now it says old network five gigahertz. I'm gonna change that to the new network. Now, one thing that we would suggest is separating the two wireless network names. You would don't want to have them identical. In this example, I put five gigahertz. Now, the reason for that is if, if you do have a wireless adapter that supports both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz, you won't be able to distinguish between the two. Okay, so keep it slightly different. Again, everything else we're going to leave at factory defaults here. Okay, and now we're going to come down to the wireless security mode section again. We're going to choose WPA personal. Again, we're going to leave all the WPA settings here at factory defaults. And then under the pre-shared key, I'm gonna enter in a password here. Now to make it easier to remember, I'm gonna use the same password as I did for the 2.4 gigahertz. All right, and once you've done that, you just wanna scroll right up to the very top and click on the Save Settings button. Now, depending on the router that you have, the, it may ask you to reboot the router. If it does do that, you definitely wanna do that to apply the settings. In this example, it's just giving us a countdown from 15 seconds. Once that's done, just go ahead and click continue and it should bring you back into your wireless settings page. From there, pretty much all your settings are complete. Now, if you go ahead and scan for wireless networks with your wireless device, you should see your new network. Okay, now depending if your wireless adapter supports the five gigahertz also, you'll see both of them. Okay, I'm gonna try to connect to my network. It should ask me for my password. Okay, I'm gonna enter in the password I just created. Click on OK.
All right, and the way to confirm that you are connected, you can just click on the wireless icon again, uh, next to your network name should show connected. For more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.ca.